Uh, today, I would be presenting an SPFX uh, sample web part for collecting emoji based reaction or feedback. Little bit about myself. I'm Siddharth Vagasya. I'm Microsoft MVP and independent consultant. Uh, these are some of the social handles through which you would be able to connect with me. Uh, this is the uh, link to the report to this web part. If you wanted to use this web part, there's a documentation around on how to use it, etc. So let's start with the driving factor. OK, and we all know uh, how feedback is important, right? Be it be a positive or negative. Uh, so what I have seen was um, we have public news which are there on the news site or the public blog post or articles which we have. Wherein uh, I have seen an emoji based uh, feedback which we, we see at the down of the page where people can basically react to that particular news or articles. So I thought of, you know, uh, what if we can build something similar which can be used by the organization who are using Microsoft 365 and publishing their internal news as in uh, news in the organization. What if we can build something similar and collect employees or users feedback as an emoji reaction on this news and everything, right? So, uh, but this web part is not just limited to news. It's uh, basically an SPFX web part. So what we can do is we can use this web part on wiki articles if we have a knowledge base to basically collect the user feedback on a particular knowledge base. And also it can be used uh, in the blog post uh, if you are having an internal blog on SharePoint, right? So basically uh, this kind of web part would allow us to get the reaction uh, of the uh, news or articles uh, within our organization itself and it can be deployed as an spfx web part let's see some of the features uh, so the web part uh, will allow you to basically configure the header text uh, the rating text and the images which you can be used basically you can use different kind of emojis which you wanted to use which are configurable as a web part property uh, we can choose uh, the rating from basically uh, one rating to maximum five ratings. So it means if you want a feedback rating based on just uh, one, two, and three, that also can be done. There is an configurable option to show the total count of the rating which user has given on a particular news as in badge. Then there is an also configurable option wherein we can choose the whether you want allowed to add comment while they are providing the feedback and this can be disabled also if you just want a pure emoji based web part. Uh, it will also display current users rating selection if I would have already rated a particular news or an article it would display that okay I have rated this uh, by having a highlighted background. It does also have an update uh, way to change the rating. Uh, all of this rating would be stored as in SharePoint list and uh, to make it more usable, uh, there is an option in the web part configure and the web part property uh, configuration thing wherein we can basically create the list on the flies where we wanted to choose the uh, where to choose the list we wanted to create. And then that list can be configured as in the web part property where the whole rating data should be stored. And there is an also option to uh, for the admin to basically choose the background color. So these are some of the features. So let's quickly see the demo. So uh, consider this is the uh, news or an article uh, news of an organization. Uh, what I have did, I have added that web part. So this is how the web part would look like. And uh, as of now, I have already my logged in user would have already reacted to this particular news. So I can see the color in the uh, highlighted thing. And we can also see how many people have basically selected a particular rating for this particular news or for this particular page. So all this data is dependent on the page name. It means uh, the data is stored against the page name and uh, based on that page name, the data would be filtered and would be displayed here. And there's, there's an option to basically add comment to it and then submit uh, the feedback again to update the feedback. So now let's see the property windows. Um, So from here, basically, we would be able to choose where we wanted to store the rating data. Um, if we basically are kind of using the same uh, web part for at multiple places in the single site, it, it will allow you to basically choose the list and which would be configurable. Using this button, it will automatically create a new list based on the list name which we have provided. If at all we wanted to, uh, if you are using it for the first time and we just wanted to dynamically create the list. Uh, then this is the rating text which would basically we would be able to configure the text which is displayed on the top of the web part. And from here we would have uh, a property collection uh, property thing, a property field collection data wherein we would be able to choose what should be the titles of each rating which we wanted to do. So basically it will allow us to configure the titles of uh, the rating 
and it will also allow us to set the emoji or the image which we wanted to use while we wanted to display as a part of uh, the feedback collection. So here, as I said, you can either choose uh, from one to five. You can either put, uh, if you want three rating system, just configure three rating system and it will automatically only put the three uh, ratings uh, images in the web part, right? Then there is an option to enable and disable comment. Uh, there is an also option to enable and disable count. And we can also choose to basically configure the background color of the uh, web part, right? Now, uh, to make this more uh, usable, like we would know that whenever a news has been created, it might be created by some content team or probably uh, somebody who would be handling the news and everything. I, I was I thought of, you know, having this an automation wherein as soon as a news has been created, we should be able to add that news into uh, the web part, right? So uh, my friend Kunj helped me write and power automate through which once we would be once we will basically able to, uh, whenever we add a new web part or a new news post, okay, uh, it will basically automatically add this web part onto that page so that the actual content writer don't have to go and uh, configure this web part every time we wanted to do it. So let's quickly see that demo. I'll just use any blank page. And I'll just post the, this thing. Uh, so this flow basically uh, is using the SharePoint REST API to uh, when an item has been created or modified on that particular page library, where we are first uh, seeing that if the current page has been a news page or not, if the promoter state is either news, uh, then check out the page uh, and get the web part uh, ID. The web part ID we would be able to see from the uh, web part manifest file. Uh, then what it will do, it will uh, basically compose a variable where it will concatenate the current uh, web part page properties which we have and add the uh, web part properties uh, which we wanted to as, as a part of configuration by basically adding that uh, particular web part into that page. And then it again saves the page and then it's published the page. Now, uh, so consider this automation can be done wherein as soon as the news is been published, we would be able to automatically add this paper. This can be they, uh, done other ways also, but it's just that the whole use case which I was trying to demonstrate would create would be incomplete if we don't have automation in place because whenever a news has been created, we don't expect uh, the content writer to basically go and add this web part to the page, right? Now let's quickly see uh, if the web part would have been added here. It is not yet. Probably it might take time. Uh, while we are have, waiting for that, what I'll do is let's quickly see uh, the code walkthrough. So it is a typical SPFX web part which we have built. Now in the property pane configuration, we are using uh, SPFX uh, reusable property pane controls to basically get uh, different types of uh, configuration which we wanted to create. Uh, we are using property field data collection with the title and the image URL uh, to store the emoji images and the emoji titles or the rating titles which we have. And then uh, the other properties like enabling count and comments and everything, right? For uh, list creation, um, basically we are using uh, PNP for all the rest operation, PNP JS for all the rest operation which we have. And for that, uh, I have created an SP service, uh, a provider class wherein we have all the methods which we have to use while uh, basically interacting with the SharePoint. So starting with uh, get items, we'll basically get all the items from the particular list. Uh, the get rating, uh, sorry, uh, this method is not used. This method is used. It will basically get all the rating list items from that particular list. The add rating item method would be used whenever a method, uh, whenever the user would be rating on a particular item and the request object would have uh, the page name, uh, the rating which user has selected and uh, the user who has, uh, uh, who has given the rating, right? And same way we have updates. So this is typically crude operation on that particular SharePoint list which we are, uh, which we would be doing. And this is the uh, create list with column method which will basically check whether the same name list already exists or not. If it exits, it won't create, but it will display some error message. If not, it will create it uh, once the user clicks on it, right? Now, coming to the component, uh, what we have is in the render method, uh, the typical 
a user interface which we create. Uh, we are using PNP placeholder control to basically allow user to configure if the property uh, are not been set. Uh, then there is an div which displays the rating text on the top, which is basically the header text. And then using the emoji collection property, uh, uh, field property collection data, we are looping through it and we are creating the badge is unable. It means if the count is unable, then only we are creating the badge. Otherwise, we are just simply using the uh, displaying the rating images which user would have selected. And below that, we would be displaying the rating title. Right. And if the comment is unable, we have a text field which will basically capture the user's comment and add it in the uh, SharePoint list. Right. And then uh, on the button click, we have a submit rating which basically calls the SP service provider methods. This is the logic where we are basically using the indexes of the column because we have a five rating index uh, mechanism which we have. So the columns are fixed like rating one, two, three, four, and five. But the user can use any text which we wanted to store. So to do that dynamism, what we are using, we are using the switch uh, index wherein we are selecting the indexes and everything and uh, basically making that rating field dynamic in the nature. Right. And then the page name to be stored. And then a typical method wherein we are adding the rate item and if it is successful, we just display a dialogue saying that your rating has been successful, successfully submitted, etc. So this is the typical uh, code walkthrough. I mean, typically in a way, the operations are simple, which we are doing in the SharePoint thing. Uh, let's quickly see if the automation has worked correctly. I hope so. It has not. Uh, it has not. Probably it might have failed or something, but we have this uh, thing in place wherein we are once a user creates a news, the web part would be automatically added. Uh, we are planning to write a blog post also. So this uh, like how to automate this thing, which we would share later on the social media. Uh, and the last point which I wanted to cover is the SharePoint list schema, which we have, uh, which is very simple in nature. We have title of the user, current logged in user, the page name. Uh, the user who uh, has uh, added the rating. So we are storing the email address to have the uniqueness. And then we have the columns like rating one, two, three, four, and five, and the comment which we have done. So yeah, all the data has been stored here and basically been captured in the, basically been captured in the uh, rating way we wanted to do it. And uh, if anything we wanted to update here as in comment, uh, what it will do, it will basically update the rating and it will also change the rating to that particular item which we have selected. So yeah, that's it from my side. Thanks, Vesa, and over to you. Thank you, Sitchart. Really, really cool stuff and, and super clean implementation. And don't worry about the, the small demo hiccup there, but it, it's, it's great to see that automation thinking behind of the scenes as well. It's all about the inspiration as well for the community. Mm -hmm.